I am an American citizen who happens to be black, who happens to be a woman, who happens to be a Muslim, but I'm an American. And I have every right to give back, I have every right to run. surprised and say, why are you going to Nashville? It's next to Mississippi. But when I got here, people are actually nice. The thing about the South is people say hi to you in the street. People will smile at you. Our 29-year-old is doing a PhD in psychology, interning at Yale. The 26-year-old is doing a master's in computer science. Third child graduated with a degree in neuroscience from UPenn. The 22-year-old actually went to Harvard. She's at Vanderbilt Medical School, and our baby is now about to start ninth grade. There's a study that said they get it from the mother, but it's not that. It takes a village to raise kids. It was the teachers in the school, it was the people in the community that we lived in. This is my daughter, this is one that goes to Vindy Medical. Vindy has done a lot for our family. My husband started here, she's here, and so it's one of the reasons I'm running. The city has done a lot for us, so it's this country. We had a lot of naysayers from the beginning that says I should not even bother to run for at large. Ooh. And tonight we proved them wrong. We had people that says a Muslim would not even come close in this race. Tonight we proved them That's wrong. That's right. So I want to thank all of you for making a liar out of everyone that says we cannot. <laughs> It's always been there, but when I announced my candidacy was when the direct target started. Somebody said they want me eliminated. They see a shooting target. When it posts at about 2,000 shares, then I realized that this is getting out of hand. I'm driving on the street. I'm looking behind me. I'm seeing who's following me. For a minute, I did thought about quitting, but I know that my reason for running is more powerful. I also know that we live in a city where a lot of people have been good to me. That's the history of Nashville that I know, that it's only a few. Majority don't think like that. Are you running this in post Sharia? No, no. I've never, never imposed my feet on anyone. Ninety-nine percent just want to practice our faith, just want to be left alone. Abide by the constitution that allows us to be citizens, that allows us to have a faith or no faith at all, and give back to our country. My mother was a Christian. I have a half-brother that is a Christian. Everybody to their own faith. That's what I believe. And that's what majority of people believe. We believe that we're one humanity. We breathe the same, we hurt the same, we smile the same. We just want the best for our family. We did it, but we still got another leg to go. <laughs> I think my mom has always been my role model. I'm like, very proud of her. Go to the polls and vote for her. I didn't tell her to say that. <laughs>